in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 11. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Susie Sa. And I'm Juan Fernandez. We begin here with the crisis in Egypt, where people are now boarding up their homes and arming themselves to protect against bands and looters. CBS 2's Suzanne Marquez is live in the newsroom with the very latest on a chaotic situation there. Suzanne? Juan, 74 people have been killed during nearly a week of continuous anti-government demonstrations. With thousands raising their voices in Egypt, protesters are now gathering in cities across the U.S. and here in L.A. to, sh to show their support for the uprising. 200 protesters held up signs <laughs> and raised their voices. Hey, Mubarak, you will see! Rallying outside the federal building in Westwood and a sign of solidarity with the Egyptian people. The looting, burning of vehicles, <laughs> and clashes with police continue as President Hosni Mubarak refuses to step down, yet has made changes to his government, firing his cabinet and appointing a vice president for the first time in 30 years. But protesters want a complete regime change. What they want really is, first of all, economic opportunity. About half of Egypt is on the poverty level. And a lot of poor people, a lot of students who don't have any hope when they graduate from university are out in the streets right now. Many professionals who got their degrees have no hope of jobs. It's up, it's up. Support for the uprising reached the front steps of the White House with protesters calling for Obama to take a stand. He should tell him to step down. Obama, you should tell Mubarak to step down. President Obama has asked Mubarak to take concrete steps to expand rights. At a rally at the Egyptian consulate downtown, relatives struggled to stay in contact using smartphones after internet and cell service were cut off. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning because I couldn't sleep, and I was on Twitter, on Facebook, and my understanding is that they're dialing into uh, a service in France. Looters briefly broke into Cairo's famed Egyptian museum, where King Tut is kept, damaging two mummies and a dozen artifacts before being caught. They never reached the most valuable treasures, though. Live in the newsroom, I'm Suzanne Marquez, CBS 2 News. Back right. to you. Suzanne, thank you so much for that. A teacher